Lamar Jackson will enter the NFL offseason once again without a long-term contract, but this time his rookie contract fifth-year option for the Baltimore Ravens won't be available, so they'll either have to agree to a contract that works for both parties or they'll have to use the franchise tag on the quarterback. For now the franchise tag appears to be the way to go, as they're reportedly around $100 million apart in what Lamar is asking for and what the Ravens are willing to offer. Could the Ravens trade Lamar Jackson for Tua Tagovailoa? The internet went mayhem when a report by Mike Sando from The Athletic claimed that one NFL executive thought that a trade between the Baltimore Ravens and the Miami Dolphins made sense, since Lamar Jackson could fit perfectly in the South Beach's team offensive scheme and Baltimore would still keep a good quarterback in Tua Tagovailoa. Mike McDaniel probably would do great with Lamar. Maybe a Lamar for Tua trade makes sense. Was reported by Sando. The Ravens can still secure Lamar Jackson for two seasons, the Baltimore Ravens can say they'll no longer have contractual talks with Lamar Jackson and technically have him play only for the team during the next two seasons thanks to the franchise tag, especially if they use the exclusive one. There's two types of franchise tag, exclusive and non-exclusive, which means that with the first one the team will pay Jackson the average of the top five salaries at the quarterback position for this upcoming season. Being able to do it again next year with a 20% increase on his previous salary, while with the non-exclusive franchise tag they would pay him the average of the salaries of the position over the previous campaigns, giving the player the possibility of talking to interested teams that can make an offer including two first-round picks for Baltimore, with the Ravens ultimately being able to match or surpass the other team's offer.